So, next example. Next example. We have f of x equals um, f of x equals x plus one. Now, if you guys remember when we were graphing with the functions, f of x is kind of the same thing as like y, right? So, if you have this case, just replace. You could use f of x, and you could swap f of x with x. But from my experience, most students just kind of get confused with the notation. So let's just rewrite f of x as y, and then swap it back at the end. Okay. Now let's swap the variables. Uh, x equals square root of y plus 1. Okay. Now, again, we got to use our inverse operations. So if we want to undo the square root, we need to square it. So we'll square both sides. Now we're left with x squared equals y plus 1. Now we're going to subtract the 1 on both sides. And we get uh, x squared minus 1 equals y. Now, remember, we started with a function, so we need to use function notation. So I'm going to rewrite this as f inverse of x equals x squared minus 1. Yes? I thought it was f of x negative 1. I think you guys were talking. No, it's f inverse. It's not raised to the negative 1. This is our notation. Oh, I thought, no, oh sorry. I thought the inverse was like negative. No, it's just our inverse note. That's just the inverse notation. Now, I'm going to explain this in a second, but for right now, I just want Don't you guys. Reason. No, no. <laughs> I'm just going to explain what I'm about to add. Then he has a or anything. Okay, I'll explain why in just a second. I haven't got to that point yet. 